Hello there, I'm Ricky Saias with this edition of Your City in Five. You may have noticed getting around town is a little bit more difficult these days because of all the road construction. Well, Sun Metro is trying to alleviate traffic by rolling out new bus routes. Starting May 16th, Sun Metro is adding four bus routes that will ease traffic congestion caused by construction along I-10 in West El Paso. Shuttle buses, also called circulators, will run through a few West El Paso neighborhoods surrounding Mesa where buses don't normally run. The fixed routes will pick up passengers every 15 minutes during the morning and afternoon rush hour and take them to a Brio station. Passengers can then take the Brio to downtown or other parts of the city. Sun Metro says the new routes should make it easier for people living in West El Paso to get around. To prevent gridlock, to help people take transit to uh, up and down Mesa to go uh, to downtown or to uh, use our express route that's going to go over Trans Mountain. An express bus route that connects West El Paso to East El Paso will also be added. The price is the same as a regular bus fare as well. Again, the new bus routes will begin service on May 16th. Elsewhere, the El Paso Public Library now offers scholarships for adults to get a high school diploma online. The scholarship pays for adults to get a diploma through Career Online High School. To get the scholarship, interested adults must apply with the library, take an online self-assessment, complete a two-week prerequisite course, then be interviewed by library staff. Once the scholarship is issued, students may enroll in the online program. So this is a great opportunity for people who, for whatever reason, had to drop out of high school or had to go to work or had to support a family or whatever. Uh, anybody like that who wasn't able to get their diploma uh, originally when they were young from high school can apply for this program and it's, it's going to be absolutely no cost to them whatsoever. For more information on scholarships, call the library at 212-3229 or visit elpasolibrary.org. You can visit the El Paso Zoo any day of the week and find out what the animals are up to by logging on to the live webcams. Mayor Oscar Leister announced that the zoo has added more webcams. Through a donation from the mayor and First Lady Lisa Leister's Commitment to Care Fund, the zoo now has 11 webcams. What a great idea for anybody anywhere to be able to take a look and, and see what the animals are doing. It's so interesting and hopefully maybe expanded to educational things. If you can't afford to go or you just need to have your kids look at it, it's so exciting. We're, we're excited to be able to bring that in. It was an idea my wife had when I originally ran for office that uh, she wanted to make that part of the donations. You can check out the sea lion, meerkats, giraffes, and other zoo animals on a computer, mobile phone, or tablet. Visit ElPasoZoo.org to access the webcams. Several Mission Valley students helped spruce up their neighborhood by planting trees. Students from Presa Elementary, along with City Representative Claudia Ordaz, took part in a tree planting ceremony at Pablo Real Park for Arbor Day. The tree planting event is held every year on Arbor Day by the city's Parks and Recreation Department. I was telling the kids, you know, just as, as you, you know, eat food uh, to provide nutrition for your body, trees do that for the earth. So it's really exciting and it's a good day to really remind kids the importance of trees in our community. In case you didn't know, Arbor Day dates back to 1872 when a Nebraska publisher encouraged people to plant trees to beautify the state. It's called a rodeo, but you won't see a single horse. At this event, the Mount of Choice, huge trucks. Your City in 5 takes you to this annual competition that puts environmental services drivers to the test. Perfect. Wow. Well, today we had uh, what we call a rodeo. Wish me luck. And we promote this to uh, build camaraderie amongst our guys and give them a little bit of a chance to, uh, you know, have competition against each other. Well, this is a great opportunity for us because, I mean, they give us the opportunity to just fellowship between, among us, you know, all the departments and the environmental services. And just by being here, you know, it's, it's good because we take it as a family day. And also it gives us the opportunity to learn more about uh, where we stand and in, uh, in operating this equipment, you know, because I mean, the obstacles are pretty close and pretty hard to go by. So it gives give us more ability, more knowledge in how to operate these this vehicles. Well, this kind of competition uh, helps us to be better drivers. It's a camaraderie, it's a friendly competition. It, it helps us out, out in the streets, basically. Uh, um, you know, navigate because sometimes on the city streets you have a lot of cars and it helps us navigate. Uh, it's like a, a big obstacle course out there. And it's also a teaching tool because it gives them 
an obstacle to go through and they have to do it safely or they lose points. It gives us, you know, like a wake-up call because, I mean, this is, this is what we, we, we do in the, in the real world and uh, it's something that we have to adjust, we can adjust here so we can perform out there and uh, do a better job. 35? So it also gets them thinking, you know, I got to do this safely and do that safely and when they're out on the road actually picking up the garbage and the recycling, they can take that with them and actually have that frame of mind, you know, to see what, what obstacle is in front of them coming up next. Because running through these neighborhoods, there's daily obstacles. The winners will go on to compete in the state competition and possible national competitions. We all wish them good luck. Finally, the city is having a fiesta this weekend. From now until Sunday, May 8th, the Animal Services Shelter will be offering pet adoptions for only $5 as part of their Cinco de Mayo adoption fiesta. The $5 fee includes spay and neuter, vaccinations, microchip, and license. Adoption fees are normally $65, but Animal Services is making it affordable in hopes of clearing out the kennels at the shelter. For more information, visit epanimalservices.com. That's all the time we have for now, but before we go, I want to mention that May is National Bike Month. Make sure to check out all the activities planned by the City of El Paso to celebrate Bike Month. And remember, you can find out more about our great city by visiting our website, elpasotexas.gov. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in Five.